Hey guys, I'm Sal. Thanks for checking out the video. The last couple weeks here in Virginia, it's been getting kind of chilly. And in the mornings when I start my truck to head to work, uh, I get a little bit of serpentine belt squeal. It's only for the first two or three minutes and then everything warms up and the squeal goes away, but it's still kind of annoying and it's also a sign that either my belt or one of my pulleys is going bad. So um, I'm, I went and bought a new belt from Gates to swap in. I kind of figured I would start with the easiest solution, just doing a new belt. And then uh, if that doesn't work, then I'll start troubleshooting pulleys as, as necessary. But um, yeah, it should be pretty straightforward today, but I just wanted to document it for you guys in case any of you are running into the same issue. So let's get into it. Okay, so looking in the engine bay, just above the passenger headlight, you should have a nice uh, serpentine belt routing diagram here. And this guy right here is going to be our uh, tensioner pulley. So left-hand screw, it's going to be rotating it counterclockwise in order to loosen the belt. And you can see it's a little bit messy in here to get to that um, with the fan shroud and some of the coolant hoses in the way. But the tensioner pulley is this guy right here. Um, and it takes a 14 millimeter socket. Okay, so like I mentioned, it's a 14 millimeter socket down there. I'm just electing to use my 14 millimeter wrench. And you can see, just it's gonna be really tight. You probably won't have a great camera angle for you, but we'll just push it counterclockwise and it's gonna loosen the belt. You might be able to see that down underneath. Okay, so I got the belt all routed. I'm sorry I couldn't get a good clip for you. You saw how tight it was. Um, even I was having trouble seeing down there, but it's routed all through. What I ended up doing was just saving um, this pulley for last. I believe it's the power steering pulley. So everything else was routed except for this one. And then I loosened the tensioner and then slipped it over this guy last. Um, but yeah, other than that, it just takes a little bit of patience. Um, yeah, routing it through all the stuff. It's just tight. It's it's super tight. You'll end up, you know, scratching up your arms a little bit, but otherwise, uh, pretty straightforward. Just takes a little bit of patience, like I said. Okay, cool. So first start went well, no glaring issues. The belt's not frayed. There's no weird noises or anything going on. So that's good. I won't know for sure until the morning if it solved my squeaking issue or not, because that's typically the only time that it happens. But uh, for now, everything seems to be working well. I'll be sure to have this belt linked down below. Like I mentioned earlier, I went with the Gates belt. Um, I got mine at O'Reilly's. It cost me like 36 bucks, but Amazon has the exact same belt listed for less than 25. So I'd recommend just going that route. <laughs> I also decided to go to Toyota to see what they were charging for their OEM serpentine belt. And my local Toyota dealer wanted 60 bucks for the serpentine belt, which I just think is way too much money. You can buy a bunch, you can buy two Gates belts for the price of one uh, OEM belt. And Gates is a really reputable brand, so I don't see why you have any issues going uh, that route instead. Um, so I'll have that link down below. I'm also going to have these lights linked down below. My parents got them for me for Christmas last year, and they are awesome. It's one of those deals where I thought I thought about buying them for myself, and uh, I'm like, I'm sure I could put them to good use. But then I got them, and I use them on every single project that I've got. <laughs> um, you've probably seen them in a bunch of the videos, but you can hang them like this from the hood, and it lights up the whole engine bay or you can um, detach them and use them for more specific areas and they're super bright, super handy. I don't know, I just think they're um, super nice to have around the garage. So I'll have a link down below. Couldn't recommend them more highly. Um, also, if you're still watching the video, it means you're probably a closer follower of the channel than the average person. So uh, I appreciate your patience. I know I haven't been posting a ton lately. Um, I've just been really busy with work doing a ton of work on the house. I basically redid my entire kitchen, so that's been consuming a lot of my time. And I haven't forgot about you guys. Still love making videos, trying to constantly make the car and truck that much better. Um, but videos are just coming while I have time to make them. So um, yeah, again, thank you for your patience. But that'll do it for today. Um, I'm happy to knock out one more little thing on the truck. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and have a great rest of your day.